student activist, uh, first of all, is Freedom. Uh, Freedom is a student activist here at WIT. Uh, uh, Freedom, thank you for joining us. First of all, um, from the meetings yesterday, what was discussed and what was the uh, conclusion uh, that has led us here today? Well, uh, from uh, the mass meeting that we had with the student yesterday, they felt that uh, this matter can be for us alone. Now it was high time that we involve parents at home for them to have a view on the matter because uh, free education, is, it's not just for us alone. Now we felt that we are children of the working class and COSA to represent the working class. Therefore, we said that no, let us then go to COSATU to engage COSATU, to lobby COSATU so that they can take a stance on the matter. To, so they can't afford to be quiet anymore because they represent the poor of the poorest. Now, why are they then quiet? They represent the, the, the miners. They represent uh, the Zamazamas, those who go underground to, to try and, and earn a living. When they die underground, uh, nobody cares. When they survive, they are taken to, to jail like criminals. Now we are saying to Kosa to speak to the matter. They can't afford to keep quiet anymore. That's the reason why we are uh, uh, handing over a memorandum to Kosa to today. And talking about workers and, and uh, involving workers, we've heard the uh, you know former struggle hero Mama Wini saying that you know it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be possible to have uh, free education because of the previous regime. Of your, of course, that's that's the apartheid regime and what that has uh, impacted on on this current democracy. What is your stand uh, regarding her statement saying uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be possible? to give free education right now? Well, uh, that's why when we talk about free decolonized education, we are saying you must also dismantle the status quo for you to implement free education because the education system as it stands, it was never meant for black people. The education system was very much anti-black. So she, she has a point there that the apartheid education, which had Bantu education, and then uh, education for the others. It was never meant for us, but we uh, are drafting a model uh, to prove that uh, free education is very much feasible, and the ANC government will have to implement it now because it is very much feasible. There is a lot of money in this country with ABSA, with Sanlam, with all these uh, 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 companies, your TPS, who have been looting our economy during apartheid and they are still continuing to loot it now. And we have high uh, 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 corruption under the current government. If that corruption money was directed to education, we wouldn't be even discussing if education is feasible or not. But the ANC government will implement free education this year. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. my friend. Thank you very much. All right. That was